Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all having a wonderful start to 2016. I thought I'd bring in the new year with a collective thrifted haul for you guys. Pretty much a classic video. I was cleaning out my closet last night and I found this giant bag. Fat giant bag of thrifted clothing in the back of my closet. And these are actually things that I bought back in October. And I completely forgot about it until last night while I was cleaning it out. So I already gone through everything just to refresh my memory, just to remember what I had gotten. And I'm pretty excited to show you guys, so I hope you guys are excited as well. And without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so the first item I wanna show you is this long black trench duster coat that I got in the women's section for $14.99. And I'm very excited about it because it's from this department store called Holt Renfrew. And if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's pretty much a department store similar to Nordstrom or Saks on Fifth Avenue, Barney's. It carries a lot of high-end name brands, so that's why I'm pretty excited about it. It's part of their house collection. Um, I absolutely love it because it's really light but also heavy enough so it drapes really nicely. When I'm wearing it, I feel like I'm like Wesley Snipes about to murder some vampires or something. But the shoulder is very structured. It does have padding in the shoulder area so I think what I'll do is remove it just so it softens it up a little bit more and I do have to cuff it because it's longer on me it is a size 8 but I don't mind I absolutely love it it's something that I will for sure be wearing a lot during the springtime up next I have this massive trucker jacket that I got in the men's department for $7.99 I was really drawn to it because of the color combination it has beige sleeves here and then the body is just this really nice green. I absolutely love the buttons, the brassy buttons here. It's very 80s, very 90s. I just was so drawn to it because of the color. I think it's pretty awesome. The only issue that I have with it is that it has this huge truck logo in the middle of it. And you know what, I actually don't really mind it, but I would prefer it if it was something else. So what I started to do is remove the stitching, thank God it was stitched on instead of ironed on, so I'm able to remove it. It is a very delicate process because if you're not careful, you can actually damage the base of the coat. So I think what I'll do once I remove this entire part here is to add like other patches over top of it just to make like a nice collage. I got another jacket in the men's section and it's this olive green H&M windbreaker type jacket that I got for $12.99. I love that it's extremely lightweight, but it's also weighed down by the material at the bottom here and on the sleeve, so it's not too flowy. I love that it has a lot of pockets and it's secured with zippers, so when you have your belonging inside, you don't have to worry about it falling out. It's something that I can definitely wear during the winter time or any time of the year. Alright guys, so this is the last jacket that I got from the men's section and it's this Nike Windbreaker that I got for $9.99. It's very plain, very basic. It just has the Nike label up at the front here. Nothing too special. You can tell that it's been in my closet for a very long time because it's really wrinkled. I couldn't let it go when I saw it. I just had to have it in the collection that I already have growing. If you guys are interested in seeing a video of the jackets that I have collected throughout the year, leave a comment in the box below and then I'll be more than happy to put it in the list of videos to shoot for you guys. So moving on from jackets, I got this plain black crop top with this high neck for $3.99. I do have a lot of black tops in my closet. I just don't have something like this. I do have this in like a gray and in a blue, but other than that, it's, this is pretty essential to have. I like that it is ribbed. It makes it look a lot more dressier. And yeah, what more can I say about it? It's just a plain black top. Another top that I got is this white t-shirt with these cute little cartoons stitched into it. I really love this crown right here. I like that it's very segregated from all the other designs. In the back here, there's a cat stitch into it with these numbers and letters right here. I have no idea what they mean, but I can definitely see this on Karen O's hashtag BB hoods. It's very, very Korean-esque, if that makes sense. But I can picture myself wearing this with a denim jacket, denim shorts, a pair of sneakers, and a baseball cap. So the last top that I have here is this beige shirt that I got for $3.99. There really isn't anything special about it. I got it for layering purposes. I also do like it because it's thick and very stretchy and it's long on the sleeve. 
If it was a little bit shorter, it would cut in an awkward position where it would make my arms look a lot thicker. So I always try to look for fitted shirts that have like a medium length sleeve to it so it's a lot more better fitted for me. Alright guys, so moving on to bottoms, I got a pair of Versace mom jeans for $12.99. Now I don't know if they are real or fake, but they fit amazing and I love the wash of it. It's very light. I do have to cuff the bottom of the pants because it is a little bit longer so I might just end up getting it tailored. Um, the logo right here, I'm positive that I'm going to remove it because it's a little too flashy for my taste. And yeah, other than that, I think this might be a good replacement for my old thrifted jeans because I've been wearing them nonstop of last year since I bought them and hopefully these ones will be a good replacement for it. I've been on the lookout for a red plaid skirt for a while now and I actually found this skirt for $5.99. Now I praise the person who invented the skirt because they create such versatility and freedom to my movements that when I'm bending down I don't have to worry about flashing anybody because there's a pair of shorts sewn into the skirt. Now because I have a red skirt now, I am now on the lookout for a blue plaid skirt. So the last pair of bottoms that I have are these vertical striped pants that are in this crepe material. It's very, very stretchy and I think these are actually from Korea or from Japan. I'm not too sure but um, it has those lettering right there. I got these for $5.99 and they're extremely lightweight. It's definitely something that's out of my comfort zone because I'm not into prints. But I'm very excited to try these out and see how I can style it. This is something I would probably just only wear during the spring and summertime. Alright guys, so I thought I was done with the men's section and the jackets, but I was completely wrong and I forgot about one. And it's this Mark by Marc Jacob anorak jacket that I got for $19.99. And when I saw it, I really couldn't let it go. And to be honest, the only reason why I bought it was because it's by Mark by Marc Jacob. I don't like the jacket for myself because it's way too oversized. It's just so much going on that I'm unable to style it the way that I'm able to. So I thought I'd get the jacket for my boyfriend, but his arms are way too long for it. So I have this jacket just sitting in my closet, just waiting to be styled. But I think what I might end up doing is selling it online. Alright guys, so that's pretty much everything in the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it interesting. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If not, leave a comment in the box below. I would love to read what you guys have to say. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!